Welcome back to Farmhouse Project. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I took this free rocking chair and turned it into something that I really love and that suits my style. So if you're interested, keep watching. Hi, I'm Jessica, and I'm obsessed with creating, decorating, and organizing. On this channel, I'll teach you how to make DIY farmhouse upgrades for your home, organization tips, and life hacks you can use on the daily. Subscribe for more videos like this one. Okay, so as I said, I got this chair for free off of Marketplace, and my tip for you is if you're trying to get something free off of Marketplace, make sure you jump on that opportunity right away because there's tons of people looking for free stuff or cheap stuff on Marketplace. So definitely be vigilant. Now I'm just taking some Annie Sloan chalk paint in the color Pure White, and I'm putting it all over. What you want to do is once you've covered a surface, Go over it one more time with the brush stroke. This is just going to keep everything looking clean and there won't be a lot of brush strokes going different directions. So that's just something to keep in mind. I ended up doing two coats of this after they dried and it was definitely something that you could skip. I thought it looked kind of nice with only one coat because some of that brown was showing through and it just made it look sort of rustic. But I did enjoy doing the second coat and then going back in with the sander and buffing off certain parts so it looked a little chippy but I'm not super into the chippy so you want to definitely start slow and then once you've done two coats sanding in between and doing some buffing wherever you want there to be scuff marks then you want to go in with a top coat. Now I didn't show all of this because I lost a ton of footage when my computer crashed, when my computer crashed so I apologize. But my question of the day is what projects you have laying around that you have been weighing on your mind and you've just been wanting to get them done but you haven't. Now my challenge for you is to decide, one, are you going to finish it very soon, decide, or two, are you going to let that project go? So set a time this week sometime, it doesn't matter when, but put it in your calendar, a specific time and date when you're going to complete that project. That was what this rocking chair was. I had it laying around for a while. It was weighing on my mind because I wanted something out on the front porch to show that someone actually lived here instead of us just still moving in. So when I completed it, it felt really good. So definitely choose and set a date if you are going to complete the project. And if you're not, get rid of it. Don't keep it around to feel bad about. Now I went ahead and spray painted the bottom where the legs hit the floor and under the seat where I couldn't reach because I didn't want to go back in with the Annie Sloan paint where you weren't going to see it. So I just did a little bit of white spray paint because when you're walking up the driveway you could kind of see underneath the seat where I hadn't painted. So I just went in and did that very quickly. And now I'm taking some scratch some scotch bright, excuse me, so that the seat will be protected from weather so it won't fade and it won't get water damage and mold and all that stuff. It did change the color a little bit so keep that in mind and try it on a little area and don't saturate it like I did. I went a little bit overboard but it worked out. It said not to saturate and I don't know why because it turned out okay. But anyway, once you've done a top coat and you've done your couple of coats of paint, all that good stuff, and you've buffed where you want to, then you are all done. You just add some pillows and some cushions and you're good to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to let me know in the comments section what projects you have lying around that you're going to finish. I can't wait to hear from you and I'll see you next time. Bye!